Imatinib, also known by its trade name Gleevec, is a medication primarily used to treat a specific type of cancer called chronic myeloid leukemia, often abbreviated CML. In this video, you will learn an easy mnemonic to help you remember the most important information about imatinib. Here we go! In today's scene, we're here with a nomadic meditator who wanders around the desert looking for inner solitude. He has found the perfect desert oasis to do some meditation on his yoga mat. By the way, this mat is our symbol for the drug imatinib. A mat for imatinib, right? With the drug name anchored, let's talk about what imatinib is used for in the clinical setting. The nomad seems a little annoyed, however, at the crabs crawling across his mat, disrupting his meditation session. You know, since crabs would live in a desert oasis, right? Here at Pixarize, we use a crab to symbolize cancer. You know, because the zodiac sign for cancer is a crab, and the strangely shaped lumps in cancer were thought to resemble a crab, which is how cancer got its name. Imatinib is a chemotherapy agent, meaning it is used to treat cancer. However, it is most effective against one specific type of cancer, so let's move on to that next. This nomad wanders around the desert with his trusty camel. <laughs> I mean, how else would you travel in a desert? By the way, this camel is here to help you remember CML, since CML stands for camel. <laughs> Just kidding. CML actually stands for chronic myeloid leukemia, the type of cancer that imatinib is especially effective at treating. For the people who want to go above and beyond, imatinib is a targeted therapy against the genetic mutation that specifically causes CML. We won't get into the nitty-gritty of CML here, but like the name suggests, it's a type of leukemia, meaning a blood cancer. Just remember the CML camel. Okay, now let's get to the side effects seen in patients taking imatinib. Our friend is no newbie at this nomadic lifestyle. He knows that when you find an oasis, it's important to stock up on water. Just look at that collection of full water bottles. Saving water like this reminds me of fluid retention, a side effect of imatinib. Just like this man is keeping a lot of water, patients taking imatinib also retain a ton of water, which can lead to edema, another name for swelling. Some of you who have watched our previous videos would know that most chemotherapies cause a standard set of side effects, like bone marrow suppression and GI upset. I want to point out that these side effects are not usually seen with imatinib. You see, imatinib is actually a targeted therapy. It was specifically designed to kill only cells expressing a certain mutation that cause cancer. Due to this, it's actually far less likely to cause the side effects common to other drugs. This is probably beyond the scope of the NCLEX, but just thought you should know. Okay, now that we've covered the most important information about imatinib, let's summarize. Imatinib is a chemotherapy drug used to treat chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML. Its most important side effect is fluid retention and edema. We'll leave this nomad to get back to his meditation sesh. I've got to find some inner calm myself to get through all of these drugs for the NCLEX. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.